jazz guitar in under five minutes. I've modified the jam station slightly here, uh, accompanied by this awesome amp made by Peter Hendrickson of uh, the Hendrickson Blue Bud Bluetooth capability. Uh, really looking forward to meeting Peter and all the amazing guitar players at Rocky Mountain Arch Top Fest. Um, that's a whole other thing. But yo, come in video mode in the jam station today. Um, let's talk about swinging, right? Um, man, uh, I believe it's one of the hardest... Um, well, first of all, it's the most important part of being able to play jazz, right? If you can't swing, it's not going to sound right unless you want to stay in school for like 16 years. Um, and then it still might not sound right, but you'll get a chance to play. Um, anyways, um, so let's talk about swinging. Can you swing? Can you teach somebody how to swing? Well, yeah, sure, absolutely. But ultimately, you're going to have to find your own concept, right? Because, you know, technically you could be playing like uh, quarter note triplets or eighth note triplets and playing all the right notes and like still not really sounding the way you want to sound or just kind of feeling stiff. Um, well, why is that? Um, I think playing and swinging is a very personal thing in jazz. Um, we all have our own uh, way of doing it. Um, sometimes, like, I pick a lot. I mean, coming from a uh, Pat Martino background in a Philly jazz thing, I pick a lot. But uh, as I've been getting older, I've been trying to slip and slide a little bit more. For me, it's always the perfect balance of uh, Pat Martino and Pat Metheny, um, you know, playing the guitar. But... But let's talk about swing. Um, all right, like, so I was just playing along with uh, Drum Genius and uh, the Mickey Roker, uh, that's a med um, swing. Uh, I think it was like 142 beats per minute uh, from the Quadrant album with um, Joe Pass on guitar, probably Ray Brown and Milt Jackson. Uh, I love this group. I love Mickey Roker, one of the greatest drummers in jazz history. I was very fortunate to uh, get a chance to know him and play with him. It was literally like having someone pick you up and, uh, you know, carry you through the music. Um, obviously a little bit harder here with no uh, bass and drums, right? I mean, you're kind of on an island of sorts when you're just playing with the drums. And how do you swing? Well, I mean, I was just sort of playing through a blues, right? And if you can't play through a blues, maybe you probably shouldn't be playing through other tunes. Um, I believe the blues is the root of uh, all music. Well, not all music, but like uh, the music that I like, maybe except for classical. Um, but um, okay, um, so check it out. Swinging and what I was doing here. I'm gonna turn it back up. I'll turn Mickey back up, and uh, always for swinging, right? And if you can't make it happen here, um, you know. It's always time to reevaluate. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to start out with a quarter note, right? Because if, if you can't play a good quarter note, you probably can't play a good eighth note. Uh, and it's always something to work on. Uh, I also believe walking bass lines is super important. Anyway, so I'm going to try to do quarter notes, eighth notes, and I'm going to play. And I hope you get something out of this, right? All right, let's go. Uh, exercise to try and uh, again you can't swing with Mickey I mean like hey um, you know maybe slow it down a little bit but keep working on it okay because if you can't make it 
swing, I mean, like, it's going to be a bad time. All right. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, LT Jazz Guitar.